we continue to climb the Tower of Sweet Chaos. And for today, we got Trey244 on deck for our guide. So thank you for tuning in. As always, down below, you'll find the timestamps as we break down the four T's, the team, the tactics, the treasures, and the toppings. So with that, we'll go through this particular level for you here today. Those timestamps are down below, like I said. And with that, if you have a question, if you have a comment, do let me know because I'd love to hear from you and come swing by the Discord server. All right, never fear Trey 244 is here. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on. So a couple things about this level. First off, we can't have charge cookies, no support cookies or range cookies in order to proceed and get by. Now, first off, these are the big baddies that we got. Lots of sugar here. Sugar gnomes, sugar worms, sugar spiders, sugar scorpions, and a lion golem and a bunch more. So those are the key pieces that we're gonna get through. Um, one of the things I always like to share about this is we do iterations. I like real time, we work through the tactics, we work through the team. Now, a couple of different strategies that we like to take, we can take a more defensive measure team, we can take a little bit more of a non-automated team with timing and specific clearing through the lanes. We can go full attack, we can go real healers, a bunch of different things. So for today, what we're gonna do is we will start with this particular team. The way that this one works here is we have two defensive units that help us split out some of the incoming damage. Addif additionally, with Wild Berry, we get some pushback. Holly Berry, similar. And on top of that, we can boost our defenses. Now, by having Black Pearl Cookie now, we also get access to Rally. So this is going to be able to give us ally damage resist bypass with skill at 16%. We also have Moonlight here. And then we're going to go with one big healer, essentially being pure vanilla. We're going to focus on these particular treasures here, um, Old Pilgrim Scroll, Squishy Jelly Watch for cooldown, and Dream Conductor's Whistle. A couple of things that you can think about switching out to. You can always grab the Sleepy Head Jelly Watch here. Um, you could also consider this one, Disciples Magic Scroll. Maybe you want to be more on crit damage. Um, again, as an option there for your damage dealers and AoE uh, cookies, as an example. Now we'll go ahead and talk about our toppings. Here on the toppings, we do have Solid Almond for defense, Solid Almond for defense. Here you do want to be in resident. Um, however, we're on cooldown for now, and those should be resident. Um, here, similar Black Pearl Cookie, and here on Pure Vanilla. We're pushing about 1.5 million power there. Um, so that is the tactics for trying to get by this, the team breakout, the treasures, and the toppings. So let's go ahead and make a run. If this team does not fully get through, um, we'll go back through and make a couple of the tweaks depending on how we run um, this particular instance here. So there is no shield up front, so we can get a lot of really, really good damage in with this team. As you can see, not really a problem for us there. They had some huge damage though um, on pure vanilla there and Hollyberry if you caught that. So one of the adjustments that you could make um, there specifically is making sure that you have um, a secondary healer um, healing over time and some more of the shields in order to survive. The other thing to pay attention to is that net. Those nets will disable your cookies as well. However, that was not a run that we weren't able to overcome. So happy to share that here for Trey244. So let's go back here um, and pull it all back together. So like I said, um, in this particular one, couple things to pay attention to and a couple of other strategies here as we kind of work back through this. So we saw that second attack deal a ton of damage. We had enough to be able to survive that target on the healer and um, some of the damage dealers. So we just got to be careful. We had just enough strategy. There's making sure that you have your shields on ahead of time. Additionally, the two up front really worked. You might be able to get by this particular run with just one defense and two healers as a backup. As an example, clearly between Moonlight and Black Pearl, it was enough damage um, to really go through. If you add another damage dealer um, as another strategy, you might really, really to clip through that pretty quickly. Um, so again, we walk through the four T's here for you, the tactics, the team, the toppings, and the treasures in order to be successful. We gave you a nice team here 
um, and talk through our strategy and able to overcome Sweet Chaos Trey 244. With that, um, let me know if you got a question, if you got a comment. I'd love to hear from you down below. On top of that, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in. As always, appreciate the likes and the subs as we grow this community. And on top of that, thank you to all the members. Um, we have something there for everyone as well. Um, and other great ways to support the channel and stay connected down below. With that, we have a ton of great Cookie Run Kingdom content here. Stay tuned for more Chaos Tray action, as we always do. And we like to have a lot of fun with our shorts um, on these ones too, until we need to do a more detail guide like these right here. So with that, we'll see you soon. Mithras out of here. Best of luck taking down the sugar enemies. Take care.